Here's a demonstration to get you thinking. I like demonstrations. Here, a clear liquid is going to be poured into six beakers. You can see that a color change is happening. Surprised, huh? Well, watch what happens when a second clear liquid is added. When that first liquid is added back in, the color comes back. The second liquid is added, and the color goes away again. That must be magic. Nope. It's chemistry. It has to do with acids and bases. Substances can be described and identified by their physical and chemical properties. One way to describe a substance is either as an acid, a base, or neutral. An acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. They tend to share certain properties. First, the pH is less than 7. That means on the pH scale, a substance with a pH between 0 and 7 is acidic. Acids taste sour, such as lemon juice. Acids are corrosive and can cause burns to your skin and eyes. They also tend to react to metals to produce hydrogen gas, like this reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid. They also react to a family of chemicals called carbonates to produce carbon dioxide. Here, citric acid reacts with sodium carbonate and the bubbles are CO2 gas. Finally, acids react to bases to produce a type of salt and water. An acid can neutralize, that means cancels out, a base and can leave the solution neutral with a pH of 7. Some examples in our laboratory are hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. A base is a substance that produces hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. They also tend to share certain properties. First, the pH is greater than 7. That means on the pH scale, a substance with a pH between 7 and 14 is basic, also called alkaline. Bases can taste bitter and feel slippery while being an irritant to your skin and eyes. They also react to acids to produce a type of salt and water. A base can also neutralize an acid, that means cancels it out and that leaves the solution neutral with a pH of 7. Some examples in our lab are sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. The pH scale is used to determine the strength of an acid or a base. 7 is neutral and is neither acidic nor basic. Pure water is neutral. We know if the pH is less than 7, then it's an acid, and if the pH is above 7, then it's a base. But we can get more information than that. If the pH is between 7 and 4, then it's called a weak acid, such as tomato juice. But if the pH is between 4 and 0, then it's called a strong acid, such as battery acid. If the pH is between 7 and 10, then it is a weak base, such as hand soap. If the pH is between 10 and 14, then the substance is a strong base, such as drain cleaner. Here are some pH values of common household substances. You can see that some of the acids are not harmful. You can eat or drink them while others are not good for living cells and can damage them. This is also true for bases. The last thing to discuss here are indicators. An indicator is a substance that changes color when in contact with an acid or a base. There are many types of indicators, and different indicators turn different colors. You must know which kind of indicator you are using and compare the color change you observe to a known chart and determine the pH. Knowing that some substances are acids, while others are bases, and that indicators turn different colors when in contact with an acid or a base, I wonder if you can explain the demonstration you saw at the beginning of this video. Those liquids are probably not water. You think it's possible there was something in the beaker before the demonstration started? Also knowing that an acid can cancel out a base and leave the substance neutral, can you also figure out how all the colors disappeared in the second part of the video?